Hey everyone, it's me, Casey, and I don't... Hey everyone, it's Casey, and... Hey everyone, it's Casey, and it's been a while since I've shared or posted a video. Just because I was feeling motivated and interested. So, I was going to do a sort of haul video today um, of some things that I've recently thrifted and picked up from the record store and... Just a couple other things. Nothing too complicated. I'm gonna try and do like <laughs> maybe a single take or minimal editing. So uh, if you're interested in seeing some of the thrift store finds um, for clothing and some other like fashion e things, and then also some music related vinyl stuff, uh, then stay tuned and hang out with me on a Monday night. Cool. I think I'll start. I'll just go chronologically. Actually. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um, some things that I thrifted. Most of these are from my favorite Goodwill, which is on Beverly Boulevard near Fairfax in West Hollywood. And I walk by it every single day, <laughs> twice a day, once on my way to the gym and once on my way home from the gym. And I stop in frequently, though I reserve my longer shopping trips for the weekend. If I stop in on a weekday, just kind of like, peruse real quick especially right now because they put out all the hall halloween things um so i basically just like scour through all the costume stuff and like black t-shirts <laughs> and then i leave so uh these are i got these like a week and a half ago maybe um when i was there on a weekend and uh mo most of these items are from the goodwill i'll start with uh this t-shirt um, let me see here. So this is uh, a Neff t-shirt, a size small, I think. It was in the girls section, yeah. And I got this for, it was $1.99, but it was also color of the week, so it was a single dollar. And um, I grabbed it instantly. This is like an instant decision. Um, I might cut off the sleeves. Uh, I'm not sure. I do that a lot. Someone stopped me from cutting the sleeves off of literally every shirt I own. Um, but especially during summer, I just can't bear to wear anything with sleeves. So I thought this was really cute. I also got this t-shirt, which is like a headless body with um, a sort of David Bowie-esque um, lightning bolt or thunderbolt through the body. Um, I think it's just DIY like like a stencil with spray paint. Um, I think this is on an American Apparel t-shirt. I think this was $3 or something. <laughs> um, and I really liked that it was DIY style and um, it's kind of punk looking, so that was an easy decision. Um, and then I got this crop top that says Honey. Um, it's actually... It's actually like a true yellow. It's like a honeybee yellow, um, lol. And I already wore this once to my friend Aaron's birthday party at uh, the roller rink for Rambo Skate. Um, and that was so fun. So I rocked this honey crop top and um, yeah, I was this was also $1.99, but it was color of the week. So it was half off, making it one single dollar one US dollar for this, which will get so much wear. And then the most interesting piece probably was this, um, I don't know what you would call this even. Um, it's not a blouse, it's just like a jacket, I guess. It was in the women's section. I, I think it would just be worn as a jacket or a blouse. It's kind of uh, a little bit heavier, 54% um, acetate and 46% rayon. Okay. Anyways, it's a size 10 in women's. Um, my plan for this would be to wear it probably shirtless um, and either open or mostly unbuttoned. Let me try this on. So on me, it, it ends at about my waist. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that right now. Um, and uh, I like that it's a short sleeve on me. I usually cuff my sleeves anyways. Um, so I, I like this length, I might even cuff it. Uh, 
the design is really cool um it's not paisley but it kind of has a paisley vibe to it and it's um black on red um though in the black it's kind of uh you can see the red through it so that's kind of cool um and then yeah there's a little pocket here the buttons are red plastic cute i'm i'm excited to wear this anyways i've been saving this i haven't worn this one yet i haven't worn any of these except for actually i lied i like old pattern blouses i like vintage blouses and tops especially sleeveless especially um frilly with ruffles or with um cool like neck elements that might tie stuff like that um interesting buttons and beadwork this was right up my alley <sighs> praise be um and then last weekend i was in palm springs and there's a cool thrift shop there called revivals and i got this vest there also in the women's section um, I think it's a size small, it, or maybe a medium even. It fits me perfectly. It's a medium. If it was any smaller, it would be too a little too snug probably. Um, that's the collar pattern, and then the rest are um, squares. Um, the top two buttons are these interesting metal metal buttons and then the rest are plastic which i thought was kind of interesting and then when i tried it on especially i liked it um and it is a vest so no sleeves hallelujah yeah and this was i think 3.99 i also got a couple vinyl records at that shop which i don't have here but i got the um the judy garland a star is born soundtrack um and then i got uh the score soundtrack from the film To Kill a Mockingbird starring Gregory Peck, which was, those were amazing finds. I think they were both, I think one was two ninety nine and one was three ninety nine or something. I'm pretty sure my phone's been moving around, but I honestly can't be bothered to redo anything here. So I'll just do some magic things in the editing or maybe be like voiceover from off camera. Lol. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I got two, I got two records at that store as well. And, um, kind of sentimental. I I got the Gaga A Star is Born on vinyl for Christmas and I'm obsessed with that movie, that soundtrack with Lady Gaga, but that movie was super impactful for me and the music. Um and so I was excited to add to that collection with the Judy Garland soundtrack, A Star is Born. Um and and then also To Kill a Mockingbird just sentimental cuz I Loved that film from the first time I saw it, and I had a low-key crush on Gregory Peck. Even when I was younger, I had a crush on Gregory Peck, and To Kill a Mockingbird, and Cape Town, especially. <laughs> uh, he's just charming as fuck. Um, so, finding that on vinyl was, like, really cool. Sometimes when that, th that kind of stuff happens, I don't know, when, especially when it's used or thrifted or it's vintage, um, it feels more like the piece or the item finds you versus you finding it, especially when you connect with it like instantly, whether it's clothes or a knickknack or something, music or I don't know. Anyways, um, moving on. Uh, I went to Target and from Target, I got the deluxe edition of Taylor Swift's new album, Lover. I'm a big Taylor Swift stan. She's uh, one of my biggest pop queens and I, I'm so into the new album, Lover. So the deluxe edition, um, there were four versions that are at Target only. And um, they have the full album, which is 18 songs, and then uh, two bonus tracks, which are like demos of her playing songs that are on the album. Um, and then it comes with this journal, and the, that's the difference between each deluxe edition is that each journal is different. And they are excerpts of her speaker just turned off of her actual um journal and so each one is different and that was obviously incentive for fans to buy multiple copies and they did and this album she sold so many copies and it's it's really smart um anyways i got this one i did some research and i found out that this one has like original draft lyrics to the song all too well which is mine and just a general fan favorite from her red album that song is amazing so uh, that's how I decided to get 
deluxe album version number one um and i haven't even opened this to be honest uh i kind of i guess i've been waiting for like a good time to sit down and just be able to dive in i listen to this the album a lot but on spotify so um the cd is still safely in here um and also on that trip i got um this set of chokers i think it was ten dollars for five chokers this one was on there as well the kind of classic uh, plastic woven choker and then I wore this one last weekend um, it's a black cord with uh, three rings here um, and <laughs> I have to wrap it around my neck twice which is it's barely um, long enough at set at the uh, largest setting um, the Adam's apple can be an inconvenience at times. Cool, so I ran out of space uh, again. Um, I'm gonna dive into the last part of my haul, which is from my trip to Amoeba this weekend. I was there like probably three and a half hours. I had a gift certificate from my birthday that my best friend gave me. Um, and then I had another uh, coupon for like $5 off that I got at Go West Fest in June. Um, Go West Fest was Charlie XCX and Troy Sivan's collab like mini music festival um, for Pride season. And they both performed Charlie and Troy and like Ali X and Pussy Riot and a bunch of other uh, LGBT and ally artists. And that was really fun. And Amoeba had a booth there. And so I got $5 off. So um, heading into this trip, I was excited because I was going to be able to spend a lot of time there and um, kind of splurge and spoil myself a bit. So the first two things I found were um, two albums, two Blondie albums, Auto American and Parallel Lines. Um, most popular tracks from them being uh, Rapture from Auto American and Heart of Glass from Parallel Lines. Um, I love Blondie. Debbie Harry is like um, an icon for, I don't know, a million reasons. She's a film icon for rock and roll. It's my last effort to be honest. Um, I ran out of space again. <sighs> I'm gonna pick up where I left off really quick. I'm gonna breeze through this. So those are the two Blondie albums I got. Um, Love Debbie Harry. Um, yeah, so these were very exciting to add to my collection. The first of um, any Blondie that I have on vinyl. Uh, I got Bread's Guitar Man album, most popular track being Guitar Man. This was released in 72. I just started getting into them more like the last year and a half. Um, they remind me low key of the Carpenters. Um, so I also got this. Uh, the Blondie albums were like nine and $10 each. The Bread album uh, was $1.99. This Carpenters album is $1.99. It's called A Song For You and this was also released in 72. And this was also $1.99. Uh, oh wait, did I show you that? I just have to show you the cute picture of them, okay? I'm sorry, but. Come through 1972. You're cute. You're cute, Carpenters, okay. Let's sail on. Um, I got Willie Nelson's Stardust album. This is Dre, uh, George On My Mind, uh, his Ver Unchained Melody, um, bah, 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 Moonlight in Vermont, and Someone to Watch Over Me. Um, I mean, those are just uh, four of the songs, obviously. It's a full um, one, two, three, four, five, ten songs. Um, this was $1.99 as well. And yeah, if I didn't know any other song on this except for George on my mind, it would still be worth it. Um, and so that's dope. I got Kate Bush's Lionheart album. Look. Woo! Uh, $1.99 um, for this album as well. And this is cool. Uh, yeah, 1978. I love the uh, old school layout. It has the full lyrics listed inside um, with the photos. So that's awesome. Uh, Barbara Mendel's Greatest Hits. This came out in 85, so she did have some bops after this, uh, but this one has, I was 
uh, I was country when country wasn't cool. Um, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Um, and some other ones, but those are the most popular, I think, on this one. Uh, as she continued through her career, this was a single dollar. Um, so that's awesome. Let me make sure I'm not cut off again. No, we're good. Okay, shh. Let's keep going. I'm not showing this one because that's a gift. Uh, this one was special. This is um, plus 44. Uh, it was their 10 year anniversary um, pressing of their only album, their uh, album, When Your Heart Stops Beating. This is Mark Hoppus and Travis Barker's um, project that followed the breakup of Blink-182. Um, and I love this album. I don't think Plus 44 will ever do anything again. I guess there's not really a need to, so I can't really see them returning to this project. Uh, but um, this was still produced and mixed by Jerry Fenn, um, who's an, a legendary uh, uh, music producer. And um, I, this press thing was also special because uh, it's on like this baby blue color. Um, marble texture and I'm a sucker for that uh, when it comes to sp special printing or pressings um, anniversary pressings and stuff like that uh, when your heart stops beating here we have the lyrics inside and there's a photo um, of the band uh, so that was really dope and I have a lot of um, vinyl I have a lot of blink 182 vinyl and then vinyl from the Blink Axe, whether it's Boxcar Racer, Angels and Airwaves, Transplants, etc. Um, or Travis Barker's solo album, I have that too. Uh, anyways, and um, I try to have all those on both CD and vinyl. Um, CD's a little bit cheaper and a little bit easier, but the vinyl collection is growing. So that was a special one. This is probably the most expensive uh, item I bought at full price, um, $28. Um, completely new. For real, my last attempt though, I ran out of memory again. Um, the last thing I was going to show you were some of these buttons I got from Amoeba. Um, here we have Michael Myers with a cute little knife. Um, this one is for Bad Brains. It's a skeleton pulling a skull out of his head. Y'all listen to Bad Brains, please. I'm not going to show that one, it's a gift. Um, I got this. The Blink-182 smiley over a yellow background. Six arrows. Suzy Sue. Suzy Sue and the Banshees. Um, the classic Suzy Sue hair. Fishnet stockings and sleeves. And then this kind of purple background. I love this picture of her. I was so stoked when I saw that. And then I got this one and it's heart. It's, uh, I think it's the cover artwork, actually, of the, the self-titled album, Heart, um, the full band from, what year was it, 82 or 84? Uh, has my favorite song on it, These Dreams. Uh, so it's been two days since I shot my haul video, and as I was editing it, I realized that it cut off at the end again. So thank you for watching. This is the outro now. Um, I'm Casey. You can find me on all social media platforms as Casey Courageous, Casey with a K, Courageous with a K, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Um, and uh, anyways, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.